Hey guys, it's Carol here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be starting some weekly favorites now. This will be the first weekly favorites video I think I'll, I've ever done. So be on the lookout for those and that's it without further ado, let's get started. Let me start with what I'm wearing today. I do like it and you know, just in case people are wondering, I can just show you up front. So I've been wearing um, these like lip butter, flesh butter sticks from It Cosmetics. If you have more questions about that, I have a couple videos I've done on It Cosmetics already, so I'll link those below and you can check those out. But I've been wearing um, In Love a lot, which is just a wash of like a cranberry color. For me, it's more like a, my lips but better. Just a wash of like a cranberry color or the one that is Darling. Um, today, this is Darling. Just another wash of color. It's much more pigmented on your lips, I guess, because of whatever your natural lip color is. Right now I'm wearing Darling, a little wash of that. And then over that I am wearing Narcissus, number 509 from NYX. It's a beautiful neon pink with a cream finish, I guess. So there it is right there. It is so pretty, I love it. So I'm wearing that today. Um, what else? Mascara for today, I'm wearing IT Cosmetics. Hello Lashes 5-in-1 Mascara. So again, I've done videos on this with more detail, so check those out if you have more questions. But that's what I'm wearing on my lashes today. And on my eyes, so I'll give you a quick look of my eyelids. Um, I have in my crease a combo of um, from my Lorac Pro, which this is another favorite for the week. It might be many weeks, but anyways. The combo of light pink and mauve in my crease that is a light pink color, kind of, it's coming up a little white, but um, it is a light pink color. Um, and mauve in my crease, and then um, I just kind of, you know, blended it all out. And then in the outer half of my lid, I have on from, what is this? Skin Loving Minerals, oh, Prestige. It is this like taupey color right here. My friend uh, Season sent me this and I was like, ooh, let me try this out today. So it's like this taupey, grayish, shimmery color. Outer half of my um, lids, inner half of my lids, lids, I can't speak today, is Pink of Me by Jordana. Um, I love this color, it's really cool. It's like a, it's like a iridescent, um, but it is really pretty. Um, just like a really, really light um, pinky mauve. It's, it's kind of iridescent though. So I have that in the inner half of my lid um, used for my Naked palette to highlight. Uh, I just took Virgin to highlight. And I think I also put that in the center of my lid. And then from foundation, I'm wearing the Revlon Yearly Naked Foundation. I'm the shade Vanilla. So I buffed that in with my uh, Real Techniques brush. I will show you that. Love this brush. Just looks like that. Anyways, buffed it in with that. And then for my um, bronzer, this is from Boots Number no. 7. It is a mineral powder foundation in the shade Buff, number 15. Um, has no talk, no preservatives, and it's hypoallergenic. I really, really do like this stuff. I prefer it over Bare Minerals. Um, it's my favorite mineral powder foundation. So um, I really, really like it. I used to use Bare Minerals a lot, but I just on a whim grabbed this and I really like it. Anyways, I bronze with that because um, it is darker than my skin tone. Blush today I'm wearing um, first the Cheek Stain in the shade Flush by Tarte. These kind of um, are a little sticky, so I do use my Real Techniques stippling brush. Let me show you. Looks like this. Um, love it. Anyways, definitely use that every time I use this on my cheeks. Just a um, a very natural flush of pink, kind of like um, kind of like this actually, kind of like this. And over that, I have from It Cosmetics their Vitality Cheek Flush Stain in the color Matte Sweet Apple. Again, I've done more in depth um, explanations and swatches and all that. So if you want to know more about this, check out those videos. I'll have that below. Just a really pretty um, pink color. So anyways, yeah, very long lasting, longest lasting blush probably that I own besides like Wet n Wild um, from the drugstore. But yeah, these are 24 bucks. So definitely check those out from their website. All right, let's move on to the other favorites for the week. Okay, 
All right, so I had this breakout, and I think I know what was causing it. The thing that is unfortunate is that I was kind of trying three new things. I'd been using like a different bronzer, I'd been using like a, a different uh, face primer, and a different uh, setting powder. So it could be all those three, one of those three, I don't know. So because of that, I picked up the Acne Spot Treatment. It's oil-free by the Up and Up brand from Target. Um, wasn't planning on getting this specifically. I was planning on getting the um, Clean and Clear one because I saw like great, you know, rave about it. But then I saw this next to it for like two dollars cheaper, and I was like, I don't get break off break offs breakouts often. I mean, it's been like several several years since I've had a breakout. This is very bizarre. I was like, am I pregnant or something? What's going on? But um, I think it's that because I've never used that many different products ever on my skin and I do have sensitive skin. So anyways, this is just a um, very lightweight gel and you're supposed to smooth over a light layer over the affected area. So for me, it was my chin. They're starting to go away a little bit, but they're, I'm getting really impatient. I feel like I've had them a whole month and I think I have. Um, I have a whole bunch up here, but they're starting to go away and I got a new one like right there and this one's starting to go away too. First happened after I ate a whole bunch of those like chocolate coated nuts from Emerald. Those nuts, super delicious. I ate the whole bottle in a day. Shouldn't have done that. Definitely broke out from that. And then like, it just never went away. And so that's why I think it has to do with the makeup I was changing up. But anyways, I do like this. Um, I did see visible results when I woke up. So from more nighttime when I applied it to when I woke up, I did see a visible decrease in size. Downfall is it does dry, it does dry the skin around your pimple. Um, it uses salicylic acid if you're wondering. It says it prevents dry skin. It does not, that's not true, at least for me. So yeah, maybe if you have like oily skin, it's different, but um, for me, that didn't work. Okay, next, um, one of the lipstick combos I've been like super obsessed with for the week is my Creamsicle Firm Revlon, Revlon Lip Butter. Just, oh, you all know how much I love this lipstick. It is just a must have if you have fair skin. Gosh, I just love this lipstick. Okay, and then over it, Wink for Pink number 616 with a cream finish from the Revlon Super Lustrous. I put this over it. This is what it looks like by itself, but when I put it over, this is what it looks like. So pretty, what a beautiful coral, right? Anyway, so I've been, uh, so I've been obsessed with that for this week. Also been obsessed with putting on either In Love or Darling from the butters I showed you earlier from It Cosmetics. Um, they, it's like a treatment in a bottle for your lips. All their stuff is like a treatment in a bottle, whatever you put on from them, because they're all like infused with all this goodness. Okay, foundation that I've been loving. Um, for a quick, and you know, I don't wanna think about it, and I just need to hurry, the Revlon Nearly Naked. Buff that in with my Real Techniques brush. I like it when you buff it in. But something else I've been like really, really appreciating, and I'm just like, thank God for this, is the uh, Color Stay Whipped from Revlon Foundation. It's, uh, mine's in the shade Buff, number 150. This is like, has a pudding-like texture. Anyways, medium to full coverage, amazing. I've even liked it like as a um, spot concealer for my pimples. Um, has kind of like a satiny finish, which I do like. Um, I don't like matte finishes too much because I have like a dry skin. It tends to look cakey and blah on me. So anyways, I've been really, really liking that. <laughs> Such a long wearing foundation. Um, everyone says that and I agree completely. Okay, love that foundation, lifesaver. The preferred mascara for the week is Benefits They're Real. So this is the wand. It's a big thick wand. Um, kind of has a little bit of a ball at the end. But um, yeah, when I first tried this, I was kind of like, I don't love it. Like everybody's been like loving it and talks about it, right? And But then when I played more with it recently, I was like, ah, I get it. I totally get it. And I get why they call it their real. I was going to bed one night and I was about to like take off my mascara and my makeup. And I'm like, dang, I look like I have fake, fake lashes on. So I totally get it. Um, but yeah, it, I like this mascara a lot um, because it's just so quick. Um, I just go and if I'm in a hurry, this is the mascara I go to because it's like, bam, like I just put it on I get nice results with it. Um, longer, thicker, more voluminous, darker results than this one. This is more of a, a natural type of 
mascara, the um, It Cosmetics one. I do like the natural finish it gives me and stuff like that. The only thing that I don't like is that it takes forever and I'm super impatient. So a lot of times I'll skip it and I'll go for the They're Real because a lot of times I'm in a hurry because I'm a mom, I have a child, all that stuff. Last thing to show you, oh, a couple last things to show you. One of the um, other combos of lips that I've been really liking is from Wet n Wild, number 966. It says, don't blink pink rose princess. I don't know what the name is, one of those. Anyways, it's a bright matte pink color. So that's what it looks like. And I just put like a, um, just a wash of that on, just to kind of use as a base almost. Then I completely go over that with uh, Stormy Pink 011 from Revlon's Super Lustrous. It's a matte finish. Looks like this, it's so pretty. So then I go over it with that, and this is what this one looks like by itself. Um, but then when I go over it, turns into this, right? Then, to kind of build some poutiness illusions, I take the cream finish of Primrose from Revlon Super Lustrous 668. Looks like that in the tube. And I, well, let me show you by itself what it looks like. So by itself, looks like that, right? Like a mauve shade. I do that, so there you go. There's the finished product. But anyways, I do it just basically right here. And right here just to build a little bit of like a natural pouty look. But I've been going for a lot of like matte looks recently because of that whole breakout thing going on. I just didn't want to draw attention too much to my this area because I had a bunch of pimples. Ugh. Another blush I've been really, really loving comes from Jordana. It is called A Touch of Pink Number 18. Looks like this in the pan. It's like a peachy coral, pe peachy coral I'd say. This is a pretty heavy swatch of it right there. Kind of a peachy orange maybe. Um, it's matte, uh, Jordana does have talk. If you're sensitive to talk, then I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're not, I'm really enjoying these. And it's matte, so that's really nice. Um, in terms of staying power, it's not the longest lasting, but um, I guess the more you apply, the longer it will last. But um, it's definitely not a long wearing. You will have to reapply it. Unlike my It Cosmetics blush, you don't have to touch this up at all. It's a stain, like a powder blush stain. So these are amazing, longest lasting, longer than Tarte, blow them out of the water for sure. So that is it for my favorites for the week, you guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.